Time now for your Sunday money. The holidays are a season of giving, and for most charities, this is kind of their primary fundraising period during the year with so many worthy causes. How can you create a responsible giving strategy for your financial plan? We're joined now by Paul Fain, president of Asset Planning Corporation. Help us answer that question, Paul. During the holidays, many of us receive a lot, a large number of solicitations for charitable donations, right. telephone, mail, door to door. Maybe you see people as you're going into stores. Right. Um, how do you manage all of that and, and how you know you kind of choose what you're going to go for? You know, I think, Leslie, one of the best things you can do is actually have a charitable giving strategy. And, you know, I find this very helpful myself. If you pick a few charities that you want to work with, and so when you're being solicited, rather than feeling guilty about it, say, I have a strategic, a str a strategic plan for my gifting to several pre-selected charities. Um, and, you know, you might also think, this is just a suggestion, you know, you might sprinkle $25 here and there and there everywhere, or to have more impact, you might give bigger contributions, $200, $500, to just a few charities mm -hmm. and uh, see a lot more uh, done with your gift. And there might be some charity that you connect with personally as well. That Absolutely. might be a good way for you to choose, Yeah, right? e exactly. It could be something related to health or children mm -hmm. or the environment, clean water, for example, uh, conservation. Uh, absolutely. Definitely. Now, once you've decided, you've chosen the one or a few that you're going to give, then it's how much of your wallet do you Yeah, win? yeah, exactly. That, that's a great question. And, and I think your, your heart more than your head probably leads in this category. You know, if many faith-based uh, contributors use the 10% rule, but I think it's really the, in, the intent you know, not necessarily the amount, although, mm -hmm. you know, it's these, this time of year is so important to, yeah. to various charities. Um, but, you know, we talk about two things in, in the, to top off your budget, you know, save and give, then live, save, give, sure. live. Yeah. Make sure you've got line items for the saving and the giving. And some people sometimes will have a recurring line item, say to, to a church or a monthly contribution to a favorite charity, and then a separate line item in their budget to save up for maybe these year in you know, one time a year contributions. Unfortunately, this time of year, a lot of people are out there to take your money and they Yikes. pose as fake charities or fake organizations. Yep. Um, how can you do to prepare yourself for that as well that you don't end up getting, get scammed? Yeah, great question. And I think you need to spend a little time, if you have access to a computer and online, go to charitynavigator.com and do a little bit of research. You want to make sure that a charity is a 501c3 if you have any interest in tax deductions. Uh, but you also want to do a little homework on the website about how they use the funds. You know, you typically want to see a charity directing, you know, 70, 80 percent of the funds that they raise from donations into their actual programs versus, you know, other administrative costs. Definitely. A lot of people, season of giving. Yeah. As they like to say Absolutely. It. Well, Paul, what do you have now for our fast market facts? Well, I, I wanted just to do a little gut check, heart check, head check on <laughs> charitable giving. So what Americans typically give about $2,500 per year to charities, so that's a couple hundred dollars a month. Uh, but overall, last year, charitable giving topped over $400 billion. So that's great, you know. Yeah. And again, this time of year, it's critical for so many charities to raise funds. Um, so there's still a few days left in the year if a lot of people aren't itemizing deductions anymore. But if you do, you want to keep good tax records and make those donations by December 31st. Definitely. Paul, thank you so much. We appreciate you it.